Today is March 21st, 1984. This is Joe Todd at an interview with Stella Crosby. Okay. Miss Crosby, where were you born? Uh, what's uh, close to Mount Hermon? Mount Hermon. Uh -huh. The best local home. Yeah. And when's your birthday? Uh, April 17, 1920. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is your father? Uh, Levi Dwight. Levi Dwight. And who is your mother? Uh, Bernice. Was Watson. Watson. Mm -hmm. Uh, were they both around Mount Hermon? Uh, she was. Uh, she was raised more around uh, Smithfield, Watson area. Yeah. But uh, I need. I didn't know much about my father. Uh, mm -hmm. I was two years old. They said when he died. Yeah. So I don't know. You know, I don't hardly know anything about my father. Mm-hmm. Um, how long did you live in the Mount Hermon area? Well, Bethel. I think just when, when I was a baby, we lived there, and then uh, we moved on, on to Watson. Mm -hmm. We went back to Watson. Mm -hmm. Did um, Did you know your grandparents? No, I don't. No, yeah. I, I had. Uh, it was my great uncle and great aunt, but I thought they were my grandparents until yeah. I got older. Yeah. We lived with them for a long time. Oh, you did? What were their names? Uh, Tom Watson. Mm -hmm. And I've been saying I'm going to look up his wife's name, and I still haven't yet. Yeah. But I thought they were my grandparents for what a long time. What was her first name? Tom and... It seemed like it was uh, Elizabeth, but I'm not sure. Yeah. We're looking for uh, any removal stories. Have you heard any about the Trail of Tears? Uh, no, no. no uh, uh, see, all, all I know is what I, I read about it. Yeah. Uh huh. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. if, if they told any, I don't remember. Yeah. You know. As a little girl, what kind of chores do you do around the house? Now we, my, the, you know, the uncle I was telling you about, he mm -hmm. had what they call, I guess farm patches now it would be. He had just patches of watermelon, corn, mm -hmm. peanuts, just cotton, just and that was one of our our uh, work was uh, we went and hold in those yeah. each patch you know we told so much and then mm -hmm. we next day we'd go back again and he uh, he just uh, well I guess to me I was telling somebody about that and I said well and my grandchildren. I said, uh, I, I seen them where they s cut the peaches and put them on top of the house and uh, dry them. Mm -hmm. And they did the apples the same way. Hmm. And well, that was one of our chores at night. We had to see that they were brought in. How long did it take to dry the peaches and apples? To me, uh, I, I guess I was about nine years old when I remember all of this, but Simlock, we kept him up there over weeks, you mm -hmm. know, just to say over one week. Because I remember, you know, we'd take him out in the morning, and you know, after the dew was, uh, you know, after he had fallen, and then at evenings before the sun went down, we'd have to get him back in, and we'd have to take him back up again yeah. the next day. Where'd you keep him at night? We we usually had uh, just he, we had sort of a storeroom, you know, one room, and we just 
lay them in there. Mm -hmm. They had sort of like gunny sacks that they used them on. Oh, okay. What about laundry? Well, uh, as far back as I can remember then, we had our tubs, the enamel tubs and the washboards. Well, you did laundry on a washboard? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, uh, did your uh, uncle, did they raise hogs and cattle? I think he had hogs, but I, I don't remember about the, if he had any cattle. Yeah. Did uh, you help butcher hogs? No, uh, no, I didn't. What about rendering lard? Did you do that? No, uh-uh, no. Uh, I, I've seen, you know, some of the things that they did, but I was just, I guess, I, I was just too small. I didn't, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't really. Yeah. When, when did you start the school? I first started a little country school at uh, Buffalo, and that's a church. That's a church down there named Buffalo, and there was mm -hmm. a little country school close to it. What year did you start? Oh, I may have a paper that I can tell you, but I, uh, in those days they, uh, they didn't believe in sending you to school like they did in Head Start mm -hmm. and Kindergarten and all that now. You just, they just uh, kind of uh, more uh, wanted you to stay home and work. You know, if you didn't want to go to school, well, you didn't have to. But it seemed like I went to school uh, way up in the years to me. And uh, I didn't go to school there very long because uh, right after that, they put me in Wheelock. Mm -hmm. I thought I might have my birth certificate. See, I had a hard time getting my birth certificate, and that's one way that I I got them to, because I didn't go to the hospital. They were, my mother was, uh, uh, I was born in the, in the home. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, I spoke my language until I went to school. Yeah. I learned it at school. Do you still speak Choctaw? I can, but uh, I have this habit of when uh, uh, the, my people talk to me, I, I'll answer them English quicker than I will talk to them. But that's because when I went to boarding school, uh, I didn't have anybody to talk to. Now, I had, I had to have uh, That this this is what uh, Miss Benson found out for me that I that I, that I went to school, but uh, uh, she must have found that in that year. Yeah, 1931. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. How come you were sent to Wheelock? Uh, I went because uh, uh, well, uh, there was uh, a lot of us in the family, and uh, they felt that I needed to go to school, but I needed to. So you went to Wheelock in thirty-one. Pro probably a little, little while after I went to. That country school. I don't. I don't remember staying in that country school very long. Yeah. And why did you say that you were sent to Wheelock? Uh, more of uh, you know where uh, where I could get the books and you know things. Uh, it was. Uh, uh, maybe it was. If, Free, you know, maybe that's why they sent me. Mm -hmm. uh, could you go to Wheelock free? Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. It was pretty bad. Hmm. What kind of scuba does Wheelock? It was a girl school. Okay. And um, we had uh, everything, like nowadays we got in high school, we had our English, math, and uh, history, and geography, and spelling, and reading, all of that. But well, one thing we had, we, they called it uh, domestic science, but it was uh, home ec. Mm -hmm. We even had that, and we had one building there, I noticed there at Wheelock, it's, I think it's closest to the road when you go in there. On the left hand side, it's really down now, but we used to have uh, weaving, and that, that's what I, that's where I got to starting Mm -hmm. To do the weaving, uh, I got interested in you know that kind of work, yeah. and I guess mm -hmm. that's the kind of work uh, I'm doing now at school is you know teach helping yeah. them mm -hmm. teachers with the arts and craft. When was Wheelock founded? Now in this uh, around eighteen eighty. To me now, I don't remember that uh, date. I got, I have a, I have the original. When what Wheelock looked looked like before it was, uh, looks like it was uh, burned, and uh, they they built you know this present building now that they're working on, but now I got the original where this nurse. Uh, came up here when we had the festival here in Beaver's Bend. Mm -hmm. And she brought me uh, the original. And, and it's, uh, it's, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, the fence, you know, that looks like it's got uh, uh, split logs. That's what it looks like to me. But, but uh, in that picture, it had a clothesline out there. Hmm. When is that picture taken? Any idea? Well, that's what I was wondering, you know, what, what the date was on it. But I still have it. It's probably 18... <clears throat> 18... Uh, I wouldn't say, but I, I know it's on there. Yeah, what, 1880s, 1890s? I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Around 18... somewhere in there, but... Who founded Wheelock? Now the the first the first time that I you know I've had uh, any history of it is uh, it was started by the missionaries the Presbyterians. Presbyterian. Uh -huh. Okay. And Reverend Allen Wright, I guess maybe some of them have told you that uh, he was uh, the missionary. Mm-hmm. Okay, he was Choctaw, wasn't he? Yes. Uh huh. How was, uh, did you stay in the dormitory? Yes, uh huh. Okay, did you stay in the old one or the one, the new one? Did you say it I, stayed in, I, I stayed in the old, I, I stayed in this uh, present one now. That's, okay. you know, they're working on it now. Is I that, stayed in that one. That push me to a hall? Uh-huh. Um, how was that, did you have a private room or were there, how many girls? There, there was, uh, there was at least four to a room. How was the room furnished? We had, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, well, they weren't big as uh, the three-quarter beds, but we had our own, you know, beds, and we had, uh, we had closets in there. We had dressers. And yeah. How big is each room? Well, I'm not good on dimensions, but, man. Uh, Got to Wheelock? I've never been there. I've been in this area quite a bit, uh, but I've never been if, there. If you go out there, you can see how big our rooms were, because yeah. they're just, you know, mm -hmm. they're just like it was when I was. I mean, I mean you know, it, they're working on it, but mm -hmm. each each room is divided off. Hmm. Did what? You take your meals? We had a dining room in that same building that okay. pushed them tall. What was it down stairs or? It was downstairs, uh-huh. Is there a basement in the, the building? 
I don't, I don't remember. Okay, but the cafeteria was on the first floor? Uh-huh. Yeah. How many girls stayed in that building, in the hall? Mm, let's see. <clears throat> I guess we had, uh, totally now, we probably had around 350. Because, hmm. see, even the little children stayed there. Even like, like when I first got there, you know, and, and we all, they, they had more of a, a big, a big room where they had a lot of beds, mm -hmm. you know. But when you got older, you got in that room with okay. three or four. How old were you when you went there? I probably was close to 12. Mm -hmm. um, how small were the youngest girls that went to Wheelock? Or when, when, when could you start at Wheelock? You could start when you were seven if you seven. wanted to. And then how long? Could you stay there? Till what age were the old uh, students? When you finished high school. Okay. When, and uh, they had the one thing about I was telling you that I I didn't forget my language, but I just got you know got to where I talked English all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, during the summers, uh, one I think I was in the sixth or seventh grade. I skipped a lot of grades too. I mean, I skipped about two grades. <clears throat> I, uh, when they came after me, my we see in 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 the uh, my mother uh, couldn't write, and she had a guardian. And so when they came after me, well, my guardian came that summer. We were going to go home, mm -hmm. and I told uh, the form the. Superintendent, I didn't want to go home. She said, why? I said, well, just like I told you, there was a lot of us and we worked all the time. I said, well, when I go home, I'm going to work. I said, I'm going to work all the time. But we had moved out of my uncle's house. We were in, uh, this was, I guess, another uncle, because he was a Watson, too. But uh, they had, uh, it was, uh, he had a lot of children. But uh, he wasn't uh, making them work as much as me and my sister. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I told her. I said, I didn't want to go home. She said, well, I didn't have to go home because that wasn't my mother coming after me. And from then on, from then on uh, boarding school, that school and then Haskell was like a home to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't ever go back home, and people always ask me, didn't you ever want to go home and see your parents? But I, I don't know, I just uh, got used to the schools. Yeah. Even the summer, I didn't go home until I graduated from Haskell, and then I'll come home. Mm -hmm. But my mother had remarried. See, my, my, my own father died, and I didn't know him. And uh, then when I came home, well, she had remarried and, and had married uh, into uh, Bohannon. She was a Bohannon when she passed away. Mm -hmm. hmm. How long did you, did you stay at uh, Wheelock? I, I stayed there, and let's see, I stayed the 31, I stayed there to, I graduated in 36. 36. Uh-huh. Then I went on to Haskell, mm -hmm. and I finished there in 40. Who was superintendent of Wheelock when you Ms. were there? Miss Foreman. Miss Foreman? Uh-huh. And I think just, it might have been uh, just before I left, Miss Black came there. Mm -hmm. What was Miss Foreman like? Uh, she was... Uh, she was a real nice uh, uh, superintendent because, you know, she was the one that said that I didn't have to go home. And, yeah. you know, but she was, uh, she understood all the girls. She was real nice. Mm -hmm. um, what was the original dorm? 
built up. The new one is the uh, frame. And you see the old one burned? Mm -hmm. What was it made of? I wish I knew you were coming. I could have brought that yeah. uh -huh, picture with me. Mm -hmm. But I believe now, I believe it's just, uh, I believe it's lumber. Okay, frame. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Can you describe just what your average day was like at Wheelock? You know, what time to get up, you know, the duties you had to do? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we, uh, we got up around uh, 6 o'clock and then we had breakfast at 7 and, and then usually uh, when we got ready for school, we, uh, we went to school around 8 o'clock and, and then we turned out for dinner at 12, then went back at 1. And usually, I think we went to one to four. And uh, then, then uh, we had time, and that they had uh, uh, like uh, PE there too, where you could take basketball mm -hmm. and, and play baseball and all of that. But then you had time there at four that you just, you were turned out, you just, uh, we skated a whole lot too. You we did. had, uh -huh, we had uh, some sidewalks. Mm -hmm. when you, when, if you ever go there, there's a long sidewalk in front of Pushmataha Hall, that's where we used to skate. And we had, uh, we had supper around, probably around six, and then uh, around nine, kids were in bed. What kind of chores did you have to do at Wheelock? Now, when, when I got older, at, uh, I had, uh, I helped to take care of the little children. That I seen to it that they got in bed on time. And uh, in, in the mornings, I, I would see that they got dressed, mm -hmm. and got ready for school. That was mostly, most of my, rest of the time that I was there is, I took care of the little, you know, little ones. And uh, the others, now they had, uh, they had what you call uh, uh, hall duties. You know, our floors were something like this, only they were smaller. Yeah. And you, you had to wax them, and you had to, the, a lot of them just polished them yeah. with that dry, you know, that mop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they have. Um, where were your classes held when you went to school? Where did you go? It, it was just a, a, well. There's an archway between it between the uh, the Pushmataha and right in the building on the left, that was the school. Yeah. How many girls were in, were in each classroom? I really couldn't remember that much, but we probably averaged out around maybe 20 to a class. Uh huh. Did we have to work in the kitchens? Some had to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite duty there at Wheelock? What did you like to do? It was best? that. It was that helping the matron. Mm -hmm. Helping. What did that care. entail? Helping the matron. What was that? That's where I took care of the children. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. What did you dislike to do? Well, I probably didn't have you know too much that I didn't dislike. I. Uh, what about laundry? We had a long laundry there. You did? Uh-huh. They were together, the washing machines? Uh, they had a big, uh -huh, big machines, mm -hmm. and they had uh, uh, big machines like, uh, uh, you, have you ever seen them where they, you can even iron your sheets on them? They just, it's just a huge thing. Yeah. And they man, just come through. A man through. wouldn't know that, about that. He's never ironed, so he wouldn't know about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Oh yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had uh, machines when you and I grew up. Well, we we ironed sheets, and, mm -hmm. and now then we just wash them and put them on the bed. <laughs> did you go? Did you go to Wheelock too? No. <laughs> but they, no, they I wasn't did. even in in Oklahoma uh, in yeah. the forties. But I just had to add that to it. I knew what you was talking about because I've seen <laughs> yeah. those where you sit down, you uh -huh. know, just like an ironing board. Yeah, really. uh -huh. and you just sit there, and the, the clothes just mm -hmm. comes rolling out. It's rolling, two two rolling mm -hmm. deals, and you just catch them and fold them up, put them away. Well, it would be kind of like today where you are feeding uh, uh, paper into something with the rollers. You feed it, mm -hmm. you know, fold it, and mm -hmm. then. Right. It was. But we, we did, we had our own standard ironing boards too, where you armed the dresses, mm -hmm. you know, where you couldn't arm the sleeves and stuff. Yeah. We had our own arms and ironing boards. Um, where did the water supply come from? You had to uh, go there? The supplies? Yeah, the water. The water? Yeah. We had a huge uh, water tower out there. But uh, probably we had a a lake or something yeah. out there. What about the food? Uh, we, you know, at that time we had our own cattle. They had the dairy farm. Yeah. And uh, we had plenty of butter and milk, and, and uh, I don't remember the uh, uh, hogs or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But but we had. Uh, that, that I know we had a dairy farm. Yeah. Uh, did you work in the gardens out there? Did they have crops planted that? I don't remember if they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have a commencement exercise at Wheelock? Yes. Uh -huh. Who gave the commencement speech in 36? I couldn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to Mr. Bain a while ago, and I said, I uh, I see people, I know they're them, just, I can't remember their names. Mm -hmm. And he said he was the same way. But uh, one one interesting thing I, I was going to tell you is, uh, they had sort of like an outdoor stage. It's right by that uh, school building, and it's, it, it's it's all about washed away now. I was there, and it's all nearly washed away. But a lot of times we held our our programs out there, and it was just natural because it was outside. Yeah. And they had some uh, cedars and you know little trees planted behind it where hmm. it just looked like a stage. Yeah. Hmm. How many students graduated with you? Be At least uh, probably eighty, eighty two. Okay. And y'all ever get in mischief there? Uh huh. That I had some schoolmates that that was real bad there. <laughs> there, there used to be the Bohannons. They weren't kin to the side that my mother married into. But there was uh, one sister, and they was in the second floor. And I don't know why she did it, but she was sitting in the windowsill up there and fell out. But she, she said it was just from acting. You know, just acting up up there, fell out the window and broke her arm. What? First floor? Second floor. Second floor. Uh -huh. What about the doctors there? Did you have your own hospital? We had our there? own doctor. We didn't, we didn't have our own hospital, but Dr. Clarkson, he was there. And before I got there, and probably uh, for a long time after I left. The, the older Dr. Clarkson now, uh, somebody will probably tell you his first name. I can't think of his first name. How come they close Wheelock? Well, 
I really de ne never did hear because uh, when I when I got out of high school and and come by there, it had been closed and it didn't look the same. Yeah. I, for a long time, I didn't want to go back and look at it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it it just probably had something to do with the BIA thought maybe we could we had more schools that you know that's uh, like Goodland and. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, Telecor has a school, and maybe they thought we could go to school there. Yeah. Um, were you allowed to speak Choctaw at Wheelock? Uh, you could. A lot of them have told me that they were punished for doing it, but I never did see it. I never, I, and unless they did it after I left. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I never did see it. Did you speak Choctaw at Willow? I did until I started uh, speaking English, you know, and then I got where I spoke English more than I did Choctaw. Okay, did you speak English when you went to Willow? No. Mm -mm. So you studied English there at Willow uh -huh. then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there many Choctaw speakers in this area? Now, a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, now, the ones like they would be, say maybe 35 years old, a lot of them, uh, they still can speak it. Mm -hmm. But uh, even me now, I, I, I knew it, I knew the Choctaw language and my husband did too. But see, we didn't speak it in the home, so my children don't know it. Mm -hmm. They understand some of it. How come you didn't speak in the home? Uh, well, I think it was my fault because I was, uh, I was always, if someone talked to me in Choctaw, I was answering them in English. Mm -hmm. See? And I still do that now. I was telling you at first that I will answer them in English quicker than I will Choctaw. Yeah. And it's not because I don't know it, it's just a habit, I think. Mm -hmm. um, why'd they name the school Wheelock? Uh, that, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, you went, um, after you left Wheelock, you went to Haskell Institute mm -hmm. in Kansas. Mm -hmm. How come you went up there? Well, I, I, had, uh, I had this idea that I was going to college, and uh, I thought that I was going to be close to Lawrence, Kansas, mm -hmm. and that I might go to school there. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't go on to college because uh, I got married. How long did you go to high school? Uh, four years. Four years. Uh -huh. Is it uh, a college high school, or is it? It's. It was it, at that time. It was a high school. I'm not sure, but it seemed like it was a Mr. Black. Mr. Black uh -huh. was head of high school. Uh -huh. hmm. I'm not sure though. Yeah. We had, a, when I got out of high school and come home, all my school records, all my, uh, everything that I had got burned up in the fire at home when I got out. So I lost all my yeah. records that I had. Hmm. Uh, when they closed me, like, what happened to all the records they had there? Well. I, I I don't know what what or you know where most of them are, but uh, maybe Miss Benson knows because that's how she found out. You know that she helped me get my birth certificate. Who's Miss Benson? She's the uh, McCurtain County School Superintendent. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You probably could find out from her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna. Let me see. You went to high school four years. How many uh, letters in the chair in the chalk by alphabet? 
You mean like the Cherokees have? Yeah. You know? I'm not very good on our Choctaw uh, about spelling and all of that. Uh, I think the Cherokees have 24 characters, and English has 26. Yeah. And how many does Choctaw have? Do they? I, I've never heard. Yeah. I've never heard them, you know, hmm. say, you know. Mm -hmm. We were discussing, you know, the town of Kyoto up here. Mm -hmm. What does the word Kyoto mean? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Hmm. And then uh, we were talking about the greeting Yako K. Belia. What does that mean? A greeting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a greeting. It's. Uh, Yako K. now is uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. What okay. was the last you said? Belia. Yako. I've heard it used Yako K. <clears throat> Belia. Okay, uh, if, if you said it, uh, Yako Ki Bilia, that means uh, something like thank you for forever. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Hmm. Thank okay. you. What would be a normal greeting between Choctaws? <clears throat> Usually it's Halito. Halito. Halito, and that means hello. Halito. And what would be a parting when you part ways? Uh, that's somebody was asking me that in here the other day. Like, <clears throat> do we have a word for uh, goodbye? Yeah. Uh, we don't. There's not a. Uh, it, we would just say goodbye, but uh, something like, uh, say, "I'll see you again." Or something like that. We can say it that way. What is, what is it in Choctaw? Uh, it's kind of hard to say, but then I can tell you if I spelled it right or not. Chipi salachi ahinli. That means I'll see you. You know. I'll see you again. Uh huh. Hmm. But I couldn't. You know. I don't think I could spell it out for you. Okay. How is the sentence structured? Like in English, we'd say, I'm going to town. What would that be in Choctaw? It'd be backwards. It would? Uh huh. Town would come first in our language. Okay, town is? Town is Tamaha. Tamaha. Uh huh. So I'd say, Tamaha Iyala Ching. You know, it's backwards. Like, you notice know Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. Oklahoma, Okla is people, Homa is red. But when you say it, red comes first, red people. See, but Okla in ours is people's first. Okay. Uh, it's backwards. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's because I was trying to think anything about else about Wheelock. The, was Alan Wright one of the founders of uh, Wheelock? <clears throat> I think he was, mm -hmm. you know, with the missionaries. Yeah. I think he started working there Okay. first. Um, what were the other missionaries that helped found Wheelock? Do you know? Uh, I, don't, I don't know any of the others. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. Now she lives by Wheelock, doesn't she? Yes. Annie Haney? Uh huh. Yeah. How old is she? Any idea? Let's see, uh, one of our uh, kin folks was telling me, seemed like they said she was. Eighty-eight. I'm not sure. Hmm. But uh, she was telling me about when they were going to have the birthday, you know, party for her. Yeah. And hmm. 
she was one of them had to keep her away until <laughs> everybody got there. Mm -hmm. She didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Is uh, what's we like being used for now? Right now they're they're restoring it. They are. Uh huh. They already restored the mm. school building. They have. Uh huh. Well, uh, of course, the mission is still being used, isn't it? We lock mission. Yes. The church uh -huh. is the still being church. used. Uh -huh. Well, I guess it has that always been in use. I think so. I think they they've used it all the time. Hmm. They're working on that uh, Pushmataha Hall now. Yeah. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, that's good. Probably it when it's not all torn in, you know, with the port. He had a porch, and it was all falling in. And, but I don't know if they're going to build that back up or not. But they're beginning to work on it now. Yeah. When do they build that Pushkatal Hall, Hall? Any idea? No, I don't. Yeah. My grandson made a report on it, and I don't know what he did with his report, but he. Uh, uh, he had a, he looked up a lot of his, you know, mm -hmm. his, uh, on his report. Hmm. Um, Push Mitaha was chief of the Choctaws, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. And someone said he was in the Battle of New Orleans. Have you heard that? No. I, yeah. I haven't heard. Okay. That, uh, Oklahoma have you heard about Joseph Oklahoma? Joseph Oklahoma. That his cemetery is, uh, uh, his grave is at our cemetery at Yasho Church. It is? Uh huh, west of uh, a Broken Bow. A mm -hmm. lot of people come by to, to see his grave. What's the story on him, Joseph Oklahoma? He, he talked our Choctaw language, and uh, the enemy couldn't understand him. And he that way he caused. Uh, Several of the enemy, he he, uh, they couldn't they couldn't uh, uh, they didn't know what code it was. Yeah. And he he caused a lot of the enemies to be killed hmm. through you know that way. Yeah, that was in World War One. Uh huh. It? He was yeah. in World War One. Huh. Was he ever recognized for that? Did they ever give him? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he ever was or not. Hmm. Was he from? He, his uh, his widow just died uh, last year, and uh, one of the uh, when they they buried him at Yashos Cemetery, well. <clears throat> one of the uh, specification, I guess you might say, was that uh, his wife would have a place there by him, and she was mm -hmm. buried there too by him. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. hmm. When did he die? I, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I see his grave nearly all the time when I go out there, but I never do know the dates. Yeah. But it's been several years, and his widow just died last year. She did? Or this year. I believe it was this year. Hmm. 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 That's interesting. Hmm. What does Oklahoma mean? Oklahoma, Oklahoma is people. What is home be? Now, I believe a lot of times I've heard a lot of them say that it meant uh, to kill a lot of people. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. Instead of humbi, it could have been abi. You know, we have a word that says abi, that means to kill. But, you know, it, it couldn't have meant, you know, it wouldn't have meant that. But still, that's what it sounds like to yeah. a lot of us. Hmm. But a lot of our words, uh, It sounds like Choctaw meaning, but it doesn't have a, mm -hmm. you know. Hmm. The family might have known, you know, yeah. what right. maybe someone had told them. Mm -hmm. 
When did, have you heard when the Choctaws arrived here on the Trail of Tears? What year did they get here? No, I, I, I really don't know because yeah. it's been a long time since I had yeah. my history, so <laughs> I mm -hmm. could tell you if I had, you know, yeah. remember my history, but... Well, that's okay. Hmm. Okay, thank you.